Football Prizes sponsors Club at 22. Football Prizes gives you the chance to win the very best prizes the beautiful game has to offer. This week you can win a first team squad signed 2022-23 away Rangers shirt. This competition closes at 7.30pm Thursday the 15th of September. Tickets for this cost just £3.56 when you use code CLUB at 22. Go to footballprizes.co.uk or click the link in the description for this podcast to get your tickets. Hello everyone and welcome to Club Reaction to Rangers Nil Napoli. Napoli 3 and a bit of a bizarre game of football uh, at Ibrox. I am Scott Carney and I'm joined by Alistair Pearson back from sunny Mexico mate. I know you've been back, this is the first time I've seen you since. But yeah. How are you mate, how was your return to Ibrox? Uh, bye 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 and mm. back to normality as it's been mm. for the last two games. Um, obviously you're probably getting the line up but I wanted Rangers to show a bit of fight, a bit of desire tonight and as bizarre as it sounds, they, they gave us that tonight, Rangers, they did. 3-0 flat as Napoli, you'll come on to why it became 3-0. Yeah, 3-0 does flatter them um, and that's me not saying that with <laughs> blue tinted glasses on me. I, I just a really weird game uh, that just had all sorts of weird decisions and vars and penalties and uh, uh, just a... Uh, a crazy, the crazy night. Uh, but I agree. Uh, I, I don't agree with the score line at all. I know. I just don't think it. It represents the game. Uh, Stan eleven, mate. McGregor returned as we all expected. Tavernier, Goldson, Sands, Barisic, Lundstrom, Davis, Jack, Arfield, Kent, Morelos, and who've I missed? I've missed somebody. He said Arfield, um, Lundstrom. Who did I miss? Is that everybody? That's sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, mate. Uh, I'm not going to lie. When I first seen the team, I thought, "Oh wow, that was a fast team." Jack, Ryan Jack. Oh, Ryan Jack. There you, there you go. go. There you go. Ryan Jack. It was Ryan Jack. Yeah, but yes, I did think that, mate. However, we were asking for maybe something a wee bit different in terms of formation and tactics and whatever, and we did get it. Aye, it was probably similar to how we've played away away from home in Europa League, where Lundstrom kind of drops into that back three. Yeah. Um, the midfield of Jack, Davis, Arfield. Um, you're morphing back years for that, to be honest. Well, I'm not going to let you steal it. When we used to have that starting 11 tonight, not one of Giovanni Van Van Bronckhorst signing, signings were on the park. Yeah, and I, I said in the group chat, Ryan's favourite um, favorite phrase is attack, 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 and I said to Ryan <laughs> in the group chat, it's not attack, attack, attack tonight. No. Um, you could see what he was doing. He was he was setting up to frustrate, trying to nick a goal. I could see what he was doing, but I can't can it. It shows. We're going back to the well with some of these guys. We're going back to a thirty-seven year old Steve Davis that we pull him out for big games, and it just shows once again the depth of the squad. It's not good enough. It just isn't good enough. Yeah, uh, I, I do agree with that. I, I do agree that the. It's quite telling that there was no new signings um, tonight on, on the pitch. But really, I was quite telling them we're back to the old guard. Um, however, in saying that, mate, I thought the first half, we were very competitive. Very yeah. competitive. It was a very 50-50 game. Both sides had chances. We had a chance straight off the bat with Morelos. I think a fully fit Morelos yeah, probably that. buries that. And then they hit the bar, or the kind of junction between the bar and the post. Right, um, pretty much straight after it and it was kind of back and forth I think we had the stronger of the first half of the half and then the second half Napoli got got a better and more into it but as you said at the start mate we wanted attitude, we wanted desire we wanted to, a bit of an effort a bit of a reaction and to be fair to the team mate that's probably why I'm not really very angry right now is because we definitely got it for at least an hour tonight Yeah, I was, I was, I was happy enough for Rangers tonight I wanted a performance for Rangers I wanted to show a better attitude what Ryan harps on his kids all the time and we, we got it um, you'll probably come on to the referee can it? The, the, ref, the referee tonight <laughs> Willie Collum in disguise we've, we've, we've had him in Europa League last season Yeah, he makes it himself and he books Morelos early doors for a ball with Morelos he, 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 he's, yeah. he's got to go for it 
Books from it, he kind of rules Morelos out the rest of the game for me because Morelos can't play his game. Books Lundstrom I get for another challenge, which isn't a yellow card. For it's not, me. I don't think it was a free kick that one. He's just one of these referees in Europe that, like, like I say, he's a willy column. He just wants to make it about himself, and he did. He didn't cost us the game, but he didn't help us tonight. That referee and yeah, first half I, I thought Rangers were good against a very good Napoli team. In the back yeah. of my head, I'm all thinking, look, we're playing Napoli. We humped Liverpool 4-1 last week yeah. for top of Serie A. Serie a. So, um, yeah, I was content with Rangers at half-time and I thought, no, we are still in this game and there's a chance. And that's all I wanted tonight with Rangers. Yeah, that's all I wanted as well. And um, you're getting to half-time at now. Now we, we were all pretty... Not, I mean, I'm not saying we were jumping about high-fiving each other, mate, but we were still like, right, we've had a reaction... We're still very much in the tie. Was a very, I, I know it's so cliche, but it was so 50-50 the first half, really. If if we'd have been down by a goal, if they'd have been down by a goal, I don't think either yeah. team really could have complained. The referee... <sighs> now, I, we'll come on to the second half, mate. There's so, there's so many decisions happen. Um, and I know VAR's there, um, so a lot of them have to be correct. You would like to expect them to be correct. We've not seen anything back. We're literally just back from Ibrox. I've not seen anything back. But... What the bit of me the most, mate, was it took him an age to do anything, and also any time anything happened for Napoli, they were they were allowed to do what they wanted. It was where, the boy that was off the wanted, park, and he point. stopped the game. What yeah. are you stopping the game for? Yeah. So many frustrating things. We got petty, petty bookings. They got very little, very little. I think they will get maybe one player yeah, booked. Surprised. Um, and that was the same situation where he was wasting time trying to wait for him to get back on the park, but. Then the, the Sands gets booked for getting turned inside out. A booking in my eyes when I first seen it, it was a booking and yeah. then the 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 whole the whole time the, the whole moment the uh, they changed the complete game is Golden wins the ball, Arfield stupidly gives it away in the middle of the park, Golden's out of position, the boys sent through. Lundstrom and um Sands kinda cross over each other. I've said I've not seen it back. Um Sands I generally thought he won the ball there. Again, I don't know if that's me just wanting to hope that he won the yeah. ball because but the referee made the decision and it was checked and he was gave, gave a, a, a second yellow and he was off the park with about 10 men. Alan McGregor then makes two penalty saves, two <laughs> penalty saves after the first one is ordered to be retaken for... Encroachment. Into the box, that's what it was. Oh, was it? Yeah. Right, okay, fair enough. So I was about to say for reasons. Put it on the telly. Oh, better. <laughs> put it on the telly. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, mate, all of a sudden we're like, fucking Alan McGregor's back <laughs> with the two, two penalty saves. And even after that, mate, generally, we were we were all right. Yeah, yeah. I, the, the sending off is a sending off. The, the, the boy who sits beside me, Texas Pal, who's watching it tonight, when it, it was a sending off. Yeah. Um, it's hard we sit in the club deck to see exactly, but like I said to you, can Vars there now, so I mean, I know you can, you, you can <laughs> yeah, you can grumble at certain decisions at VAR because it's tight in some things, yeah. but back of my head's going, well, VAR's there, so he must be, or it would be overturned. Yeah. Um. So he's got to go, signs. Boy steps up. <sighs> Aye. McGregor saves. We don't react. He scores. Obviously, he has to retake his encroachment. McGregor saves it again. Honestly, I mean, you, you, were, you, I, you were thinking, here we go. McGregor's missus sits in front of me. And she was, she was even fucking going, like, what's going on here? Um, even at, at that point, though, mate, generally, I did have the feeling of, oh, something could be. Yeah, happening and, to be, here. and to be fair, might be, this might be spent, and, even and, though down to ten men, like. And after that, and after he saved that penalty, <laughs> we had a five-minute spell. Rangers were. We looked all right, to be fair, and looked like we might nick something. But Napoli just gained control again in the ball, to be honest. And there was still a long time to go in the game. When we changed the shape as well, we dropped yeah. King on, and we dropped a 4 4 1. And uh, we just lost any kind of control we had. But yet again, it's, it's 10 men <laughs> against Napoli, do you know what I mean? Then another penalty, obviously. Why would it not be another penalty? Um, Barisic looks to handball it again, mate. I didn't see it initially. Um, the way Barisic's body is, it's, he's got his back to me as it happens, and he's booked for it. And it's a penalty. And this time, of course, they scored. Even though McGregor got very close, close to it, very close to it. From then on, mate, it was inevitable. It really was. You cannot really judge anything after that because you're in the Champions League group stage, mate, against a very good Italian side. It was inevitable they were going to get the second and probably the third, even though the third is a brain fart from Kamara. 
yeah, the shape went. He flung players on. Matondo, come on. Cholak, come on. Kamara, um, come on. Kamara, Tav come on. Off. Tav, well, come off. Which it, obviously means he's still nursing his injury. Yeah, it was, it was a bit disjointed, to be honest. And to be honest, they looked like any time they went at the part they were going to score, and they did, to be honest. So, yeah. aye. It's a sore one to take again. 3 0 doesn't really cover how the game kind of went, to be honest. We were in the game with, with 11 men, soon went down to 10, and you lose the penalty. It's it's an uphill battle, and against a very good team, we need to say they're on six points now in the group Napoli, but it is what it is, unfortunately. It, it It's telling because to me it, it shows, as we've harped on, the squad just isn't good enough. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't quite sure, Cone, we're not good enough at this level with that squad at the moment. No. Um, and it's been shown over two games. Yeah, we were competitive for 60 minutes, but we, we don't have another gear to go And I think that's why he showed he played Davis, Jack, um, Arfield, and Miller Pack, Lundstrom with a back three or back five, what you call it, because we're just not good enough to go toe to toe with these teams because they have mega money. Yeah. And we, that's the sad reality of it, unfortunately. Yeah, we did go man for man in the first half, which seemed to work. Really did seem to kind of nullify them, but they were still getting their chances, of course. Well, but they're a good side, but the yeah, well, it's it's a not um, it's a mountain and a half to climb now for us to get anything. Yeah, back to back Liverpool group. games. Uh, yeah. I, can't wait, man. <laughs> can't wait. Uh, man of the match was Alan McGregor, and I won't take anything different from that. No, Alan McGregor all day long. I, we said it. We joked about it in the the the, the preview thing. Then we said. It wouldn't be with Alan McGregor to come back and put on a masterclass. To be fair, he did. We had a few good saves as he well. He did. Cut, cracking good saves. Saves you'd expect McGregor to make. To save three penalties, honestly, he wouldn't be superhuman to do that <laughs> yeah. tonight. To save two was unbelievable. Have put it past but him, though. I wouldn't put it past him. But yeah, Alan McGregor, for me, well, he will stay in goal for the weekend because McLaughlin's injured. So. I think McGregor will be the goalkeeper Aye. going forward this season. I think so, it looks that way. Um, quickly before we go, I have to give a shout out to Linda and Alan for coming to say hello to yes. us on the... Yes, Preston Pans. Yeah. C- CD1, Preston Pans. Oh, aye. aye and Since CD1. And Jamie, who means Scotia Mate, who lives just outside Belfast as well. So it's always good to, to yeah. meet subscribers. And, and I'll give, I'll to give a shout to, to Davey as well. Uh, Davey, I've known you since we were born, mate, but it was good to catch up with you again, mate, on the, on the, on the concourse. Good to see you, mate. Uh, yeah, look, as what it is, uh, Champions League football it is probably beyond us now for the rest of us. The rest of this season, and yeah, we've got pretty massive games coming up against Liverpool, uh, but it's now on to Saturday, and a must-win game against Dundee United, absolutely no doubt. We will be back on Friday with a, a club live preview show. Um, we'll be live on YouTube on, on Friday. So for tonight, Alistair, thank you very much, mate. Yeah, no problem. Um, Saturday back at Ibrox again. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll see Rangers score a goal. Hopefully we'll see Rangers win. They need to win, as you say, Carney. Mm-hmm. Saturday, I know we say every game's a must-win game, but Saturday is a must-win game before we go into the national break. So, um, I would say I'm looking forward to it, but I don't know if I am. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be back on Friday on the podcast. Looking forward to a few beers on Saturday. Yes, I look forward to that. A few beers on Saturday, for sure. So, yes, thank you everybody for tuning in. Not the positive podcast that we wanted to bring, but hopefully there's one round the corner soon. Um, if you'd be so kind, please do like the video. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Speak to you on Friday. We are Club at 22, the Rangers podcast. Cheers, everybody.